So the last time you guys saw us, we had just made it to Airlie Beach. And over the next two days, we're gonna be exploring Airlie Beach and the Whitsundays. Good morning from Airlie Beach. It is a super beautiful morning, but I had to point out one thing that I feel like I'm gonna sound so stupid for, because Vian gives me dodgy looks every time I say it. But driving in, I said, it looks so much like the Amalfi Coast in Italy. Take that with a grain of salt. I have not been to Italy. We've barely traveled internationally, but the way the buildings just, and the colors, I don't know. Am I way <laughs> off from anyone who's been to Italy? Let me know. Come on, Lydia. You've got Italian heritage. <laughs> Lydia is a quarter Italian. She should know by now that that doesn't look anything <laughs> like it. I kind of get like hints of it. But it's not the same era. It's the same colors and like also the way that they're like sloped up the hill. I think but it's almost because it's like I think apartment. it's the colors and then just like the abundance of the buildings. The colors but then also that they're not just single houses. They're like apartment blocks. Yeah. Shooting up. I don't know. Maybe I'm way off but I just had to point it I'll out. I'll have to uh, Google it now and have a look. But <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a bit of a stretch. First up, we're parked out on Coconut Grove. We were gonna walk in, but we, we, we had a look at parking and it's actually pretty convenient to park, so we decided to drive in today. It's two hour parking for free and it fits the van. And conveniently enough, it's right next to the Saturday markets. So we're gonna go check it out because we are here on a Saturday. My one goal for this market, if they have it, is to get the chocolate pudding fruit, which is called Sapote or Sapoti? I mean, Sapauti? to cover our bases, Sapote, Sapoti, Sapoto. Uh, <laughs> is there L in there? I don't know. <laughs> oh dear. So we've been trying to get our hands on this fruit, but we have not come across it. Yeah. And I was looking at the reviews for the markets and there was a picture like a few months ago of someone having them. It, so. it is in season, so I'm a little bit I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful we'll find out. Fingers crossed. So it's called chocolate pudding fruit because apparently it tastes like chocolate pudding. And I feel everyone who comes to the Tropical North says you have to try it. And there's really mixed reviews on whether it actually tastes like chocolate pudding or not. So I'll be the judge of that. We're professional fruit testers now after our last video. <laughs> there's a bit of bogan in all of this here. I don't know about that. I think there's some deep down. Yeah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> These two look good. Yeah. yeah. Success. We got Target our sapoti. Did you say sapoti? Yes, sapoti. I'm gonna sound like so overmarket. silly. How do we pronounce it? Is it sapoti? Sapoti. It was pretty cheap. Two dollars really sixty. Two sixty. Two forty. I think it's two sixty. Gave you sixty cents. Uh, two forty then. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty good price actually. Pretty, pretty and he said they should be ready in a couple days. Yeah, two, so three days. When they're like that, so they'll be ready in like two or three days. We won't get to eat them we'll here, have to but. Try them there on our road trip up north. Yes. Walking along the coast in the town, I can kind of more see where Lydia was coming at with the, it gives a very Italy vibe. It does give me like European really? coastal town. Yeah, especially cause it's like yeah. dark rocks and then buildings I and palm the trees. Palm and palm trees kind of throw me off though. It makes yeah. me feel like tropical Queensland. <laughs> well, that or Hawaii <laughs> or some European town. All these I don't places know. places we've never been. Yeah, exactly. So we are definitely qualified to talk about it. I feel like Airlie Beach is exactly what you would expect of a super touristy coastal town. There's travel agencies everywhere, there's boutiques. I love how I say that as we're when about to right walk past an adult shop. <laughs> <laughs> they have an adult shop too, but they have super touristy accommodation, travel agents, boutiques, restaurants, bars. 
So we pretty much just walked through the entire town and not much is open except for a couple of cafes. But with that said, it is early morning. It's like eight o'clock. So that is to be expected. It does appear to be more of a town that does become alive um, after Oh, in the afternoon or in the evening. Lots of bars and yeah. nightlife, it seems. So I feel like the vibe would change whatever time you came in. We're super amused right now because the white cockatoos in the tree are trying to annoy the black cockatoos. And even yesterday at our caravan park, yeah, with the... the white cockatoos are chasing this giant lizard and yeah. yelling at it and trying they to bite like it. big bullies. <laughs> Just as you say that. Where Queensland is absolutely killing it with their pools, their free pools in town. We're here at Airlie Beach Lagoon and it is free to swim in and it is beautiful, just like Yapoon Lagoon. It's almost like a resort feel and you've got the palm trees around us and the beach and it's just such a beautiful spot. But we are very spoiled because our caravan park has a pool. And our pool. Slide. It's now a lot later in the day. We spent way too much time at the pool. Because in your it opinion? Is, in my opinion, because <laughs> it is amazing. But I thought we should explain that we're currently staying at Discovery Parks. Airlie Beach and it's actually a decent price. I think it's like 30 bucks a night. All of the caravan parks are kind of far out from town. They're all like a 30 to 50 minute walk out of town. There's none that are like right in the town center. It's a short drive. There's free parking in Airlie. So it feels like a really good spot to be. And then we've got power, water and the pool. So. We're very happy. Oh, and they have really nice hot showers. We are up bright and early tomorrow morning for the cruise to the Wit Sundays. We're going to try squish in a bird feeding before that. So we're going to say good night and we'll see you tomorrow. the morning of our cruise and I'm super 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 duper excited they even just texted us confirming cockatoos are very noisy today but let's go so we're actually a little bit early for our bus pickup so our caravan park is morning bird feedings which we went to the first day we arrived So we're gonna quickly go to that and then go to our bus stop. <laughs> Gotta cram in as much as we can while we can. I love how they're waiting. They know. They know. They're prepared. It happens every morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's 801. This, <laughs> this is ridiculous. All the birds are coming in. Sadly, the birds are protesting. The guy was slightly late and the birds came, I think it was like two past yeah. eight. They all so they were. Down pretty much on time they all flew down they were heavily disappointed <laughs> and now that the food is out they're like mm, you're we're not, not down. <laughs> we're not cooperating with you because you're not co cooperating with us all right we're waiting for our bus I think it should be here in like five minutes the birds still haven't come down we can see from here but yeah so our tour does actually include bus pickup and it will take us to the marina which is super convenient because if we were to walk there, it'd take like what an hour or something. Yeah. It could be us. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I don't know. Deal with, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, ceiling. Ah. 
It's a nice bus. Bloody hell. You go first? Yeah. Morning. Morning. Lydia. Yes, thank right. you. We're off to shoot Harbour. We have day out on the Silic ferry called the Nancy Wake. We're a bit early this morning. There's only 15 on board. Three of those are staff. So basically there's 12 passengers. Probably the lowest number since I've been doing this from day one. I cannot understand. It's probably the best day we've had in three months. So you're going to have an incredible day out there today. Thank you so much. Look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I always say this, but it really reminds me of Tassie almost. The cruise yeah. we went on? Mm. Yes. Gordon Dam. But super blue water. <laughs> but super blue water and not as nearly, but it's very <laughs> reminiscent of that. It's like it's <laughs> actually really good. That. Look at it. The heels, they look the same. Got our stinger suits just oh, in case? Yeah, probably won't use them. We'll see how it is like. See how we feel. Yeah, water is warmer, so colder. Cold. Thanks. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Alright, upper deck is open. Let's go check it. Stairs and spiders. <laughs> what a combo. I can already see how blue it is. <laughs> it's 
pretty busy here but uh, we are at Hill Inlet Lookout and look at this. It is just so beautiful. It's everything you see in the pictures. All right, so we're heading to the next lookout. I think there's three yeah, spread across and all of them are pretty busy. So <laughs> apparently it's the third most photographed spot. Mm, and then yeah. second is Uluru and first is Sydney Harbour, Harbour Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Which, not surprised by those. <laughs> but I totally get why it's crazy beautiful. Literally exactly what you see in the postcards. Yeah. Uh, and you guys can go either side coming back onto the little boat here. We've made it to Whitehaven Beach. This is, I think this has been awarded so many times, so many years, Australia's best beach. Yeah. And uh, I think the last beautiful. one was rated third best beach in the world. What? It's the third really? best beach. I think it like ranks between like 13th and first for the <laughs> best beach in, so in the world. Um, and it is very beautiful. The water is so calm and flat mm. and clear mm. and blue. Ooh, I'm falling over in the sand. <laughs> and the sand is, I think it was what, 98% yeah. silica? It's all different stats. Nine, it's like 97 to 99% people say. So. about that much. And it means that the sand doesn't absorb heat. Mm. So even though right now it is blazing yeah. it's really cool yeah it is and it's not burning your feet at all apparently it's really good for exfoliating yeah it's very <laughs> similar to Esperance yeah uh, Lucky Bay that beach that's also got <laughs> got a high the silica on it so it's um it actually reminds cool. me of Esperance for yeah. sure yeah well yeah even the water reminds us of yeah. Esperance it's just a uh, hell of a lot less four-wheel drives and a hell of a lot more boats. Yes, <laughs> but uh, we had lunch and then a group brought us over. We've walked up a little bit further. Yeah. We were hoping to get closer to the Hill Inlet so we could get some cool shots there, but we're right at the bottom of Whitehaven yeah, Beach. Yeah, it's a very big beach. So I'm not sure we have enough time to go there, but I think we have to go for a swim. I think so too. I'm gonna dip my feet in. <laughs> so clear oh my gosh i already went for a dip and now he it's the turn oh yeah go you said it was kind of cold <laughs> it's cold but you just gotta go <laughs> oh my gosh we're in green side <laughs> it is it's nice now that i've been in it it's cold it felt cold when i got in it but then i just dove in it's hot it's sunny but it's cold <laughs> it's not that bad where's the turtles i don't know we did see a turtle and two stingrays the other day when we're getting drone footage of early beach well not yeah. early beach but cannon something yeah so. <laughs> That was exciting. Yeah, they do have turtles here, so... Are we going to take a dip? Yeah, I have to eat some. <laughs> Jump in.
Bye bus. The area is beautiful. Oh. <laughs> There's a car. <laughs> oh, it's another car. Oh no! <laughs> We're gonna get hit. Whitehaven Beach is beautiful. Hill Inlet, exactly what all the postcards. I was gonna say postcards. <laughs> Exactly what oh there's something here. Exactly what all the posters look like and all the posters? <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, the posters that they advertise it with. But it was busy. Yeah. Hill Inlet was super busy and all the tours have their pros and cons. Yeah. And today we is the most I think we've ever spent on an attraction. Yeah, well was... probably a video even. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and it was four hundred and ten dollars. They're all was pretty good. much. They're all pretty much the same price as well. Yeah. Um, We're there are cheaper them. ones, but they do come with less or yeah. shorter or. So it's it's kind of like uh, they all cost the same. So you just pick whichever. They all suited. cost similar. Yeah. I'd say between like one hundred and eighty and. I'm sure mm. there's like crazy private ones that are expensive, but yeah. mostly between like 180 and 240. Yeah. And they each have their own pros and cons, mm. and it depends on what kind of vibe you're after. We picked Sailing for a few different reasons, but mm. you could see it could fit 260 something people, and we had how many was it? 13. Yeah, 12, I think. 12 people. <laughs> so we got the whole boat to ourselves. It was really chilled really mm. comfortable the we boat had our is own big space. you didn't have designated seating you were getting splashed catamaran. so it's very stable yeah. and chill compared to a lot of the other ones which are like a third of the size i want to say yeah i can imagine that some like... of the road, some of the waters would get choppy so yeah. if you get do seasick. suffer from <laughs> seasicknesses seasicknesses <laughs> Um, the ceiling was probably to be better. Yeah, it was, the other ones looked more speedboaty and were like <laughs> yeeting around and people getting splashed. So if you want like a calmer boat experience, ceiling was good. They did a different um, a bigger a bigger boat. Yeah, so you sailing could path. See more of the islands. I think there's like 79 or something islands. So yeah. it, it, it is quite a lot to explore. They covered a lot more. So I think the older crowd would love ceiling yeah. or young families. Us, us old souls there. <laughs> but I mean, ceiling was great. We can't fault them. Mm. The only con, really, we found with ceiling is that they didn't offer snorkeling. snorkeling. Yeah. Which some tour companies do offer snorkeling spots. But, but we with saw, that said, well, I was gonna say we <laughs> saw pretty mixed reviews on the snorkeling spots not being that great. Mm. And then you not actually getting to snorkel for a long time. Yeah. So yeah. we decided to pass that and go with ceiling, and they were great. Yeah, they were. There's not many locations in Queensland that I knew before we left on the lap, but the Wood Sundays was one yeah. that is like everyone, everyone talks about it. So glad we saw it. But sadly, tonight is the last night at the caravan park, so I so think we we're gonna to, get uh, another swim in, <laughs> go down the slide, have an early night, and then we're hmm. back to road tripping tomorrow. Oh. So uh, see you in the next one. Whatever we're getting up to. <laughs> Bye.